Hi all, um, this is a video to show you how to make a texture map from your own JPEG images for a model in 3ds Max. I'm going to be using a JPEG I made earlier in Photoshop which was um, constructed specifically so it would be to scale. So when I texture mapped it onto this model I would then be able to measure hopefully precisely distances between certain parts of the model. Let's get started. So you want to start with your model which you have imported mine in here um, and you want to go up here to the material editor. You want to make sure you get the slate editor open rather than the smaller one so make sure you get that and you should get this box um, and you want to go down here to the bitmap in the maps bit drag and drop it into the central area where you'll then be given the option to select the JPEG you want to use. So there's mine, so I'll open that. And then to be able to put it on as a texture map, you need to make it into a material basically. So if you go into here into general, um, and I'll use the physical material, so I'll drag and drop that in, um, and then need to link the two by selecting this little circle and putting dragging it over to the base color map here um, and as an aside if you want to delete this texture map for whatever reason if you've made some sort of mistake delete the bitmap first and then delete the physical material so you go select the bitmap and go up here to delete um, rather than doing it the other way around because for some reason it just doesn't work so once you've got this all set up, you then need to drag and drop to the area that you want to um, map. So there we go. Initially, it won't show up. You need to make sure in standard, you've got the realistic materials with maps selected in the materials box. Um, and then you'll see that here. Now to make sure this is in fact the right scale, um, I then need to um, modify this map and to make it into a UVW map. So to do that, I will select it here and then in the modifies tab, I will go onto this drop down list, scroll all the way down and find the UVW map here. Um, and then obviously that will change the picture. So what you need to do is fiddle around with these options to find the right one for you. So initially I'll take out the real world map size um, and then put it into the Y um, alignment and finally I'll use fit and that makes sure it fits into the area perfectly which I have already constructed using survey data. Um, and yeah that's it basically um, you can fiddle around with options in here um, to change it as you see fit if you are trying to map it onto a cylinder or a sphere you've got options for that okay thanks for watching and i'll see you soon